Hey guys, JD here with the Kawasaki Ultra 310 Jet Ski. And today we're going to be talking about the factory directed modification to replace this translucent engine access cover. So now I've got the replacement cover here, and then I've also got the new seal kit from Kawasaki. And I'm going to show you guys. This will normally be done by your dealership. I just wanna show you what's involved with this process and what the new door looks like. Now the door itself is actually exactly the same as the old one. The difference here is with this type of seal that they're using. So the previous one, you could see this seal is pretty compressed in here. And I guess Kawasaki thought it would be easier rather than sending your dealer the seal to replace. They said, okay, we're just gonna send them a new door and a new seal. So if you're replacing this, the first thing you do is pull out the old one like that. You can see I actually, um, I had a screw holding the back of my door down because water was running in, obviously, and that's why they addressed this. So here's the new door. And now we're going to look at the seal kit. So we'll go ahead and open this up. So here's the new seal, a new door, and here's the old factory one. This is the one that, this is from 2022, this one here. You would have had this on pretty much any model that was sold before this year. And so this factory directed modification, you would have gotten a notice in the mail and then you'd take your ski down to your dealer and they'd install this, this uh, update for you. So you can see this is the new seal. It's quite a bit thicker. Uh, the old seal kind of went in, whereas this one sticks out a lot more. I haven't actually put it in yet. I just wanted to show you for comparison purposes. So here's my new cover installed. That seal is a lot thicker and uh, it's kind of like a spongy material. Um, and it is a lot thicker and you can see that when I close it now, you actually have to really press it down. So we'll see if that helps with the water intrusion. I am glad that they decided voluntarily to update this. So I hope that gave you guys a good look at the factory directed modification that Kawasaki has done for the Ultra 310s. So besides the cover right here, Kawasaki has included another seal. And this seal is for behind the meter unit. Now I've already gone ahead and disconnected this from the ski. And I'm just, just for demonstration purposes here. Now this seal is kind of going to create like a brow right above your meter. And then you can see this line here. You're kind of going to follow that line with the seal and it's just gonna go across like this. And this is so if water splashes in, I guess we had some water trickling down into the area right here. So this seal that was included with this factory directed modification is gonna provide an additional seal just on top of the meter unit right there. All right, so I've got that seal installed. You could just see it sandwiched between the back there. And that's, uh, and you can see all the pollen today, it's pollen season right now here in south florida so pollen i got pollen everywhere but that new seal for the back of the meter display seals it basically almost down to the side so if water gets in the top it won't go through the port where the connector from the wire harness connects into the meter display and now there's one final component to this factory directed modification and that is in the footwells so now we've got our new access hatch seal We've got the new seal behind the meter display. And there's one final component to this factory directed modification. And that is addressing these front traction pads. Now you might say to yourself, why would I have to replace the traction pads? So Kawasaki has sent, depending on your model, um, for this model, I have the LXS. It would have been these gray ones right here. Now I've got aftermarket pads already in place. So I'm gonna skip this part of this factory directed modification, but I wanted to show you anyway. So they sent these and then along with those, they sent basically what amounts to a clear plastic decal. Now under these traction mats, there's actually a pre-cut hull and that's for the speakers that you see on the LX. So every single hull is pre-drilled from the factory with those holes for the footwell speakers, if you have them or not. So what was happening is I guess with the factory traction mats, they would get saturated and water would drip through. So these ones from Unlimited PWC are thicker and a different style and, and water doesn't really leak through them like it does with these factory ones. So what you would do is you'd essentially take this clear decal here 
and um, you would apply it over those holes and then put your traction mats back in place. Obviously, I'm gonna skip that portion of the modification because I don't have any water intrusion with my aftermarket um, mats and I don't wanna ruin them. I'm gonna show you the, this is the factory directed modification for your 2022 and 2023 Ultra 310 and 160 watercraft. And that fixed a water intrusion issue that we had with the access door. You can see that here we've got this new seal. And although the seal is compressed, you can see that it is a much thicker seal than the previous one. So we've got the new seal. We've got a new seal behind the meter display and then you've got those footwell modifications. So that's just a look at this factory directed modification that your Kawasaki dealer will perform for you. If you haven't had this done yet, I suggest you contact your dealer, provide them with your VIN and see if yours is one of the affected watercraft. Here's a look at the table of the affected models. And you can see it's pretty much anything from 2022 and 2023. If you bought a 2024 model, these changes will have already been applied from the factory. All right. Thanks for watching only on JD's Waterworld. If this video was helpful, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more Kawasaki content. Thank you for watching JD's Waterworld, YouTube's largest Kawasaki jet ski channel.